We got a request from uh, Team Giant Alpacin to, uh, to help them with their uh, time trial testing. So they, uh, they did uh, mostly aerodynamics testing on the track in Apeldoorn to optimize the position to see in which riding position uh, the aerodynamic drag was the lowest. And, uh, and we were present there to, uh, to help them to check if, if the positions they wanted to attain uh, were also still within a certain ergonomic range. So as a bike fitter I helped them by checking uh, the joint angles of the, of the most important uh, joints that are involved in cycling to check if those angles were, uh, were still in, uh, within a certain range which is acceptable. So we started with an intake. I, uh, I measured the number of, uh, of parameters related to the flexibility of the, of the knee flexors and the, and the hip extensors. Um, this determines to, uh, to a large extent how high I can, uh, can put the, the saddle of the, of the rider. Uh, I also looked at the flexibility and the mobility of the shoulders of the rider uh, because it's an important determinant for where uh, the, the handlebars should be positioned uh, for each individual rider. I talked about injury history with, uh, with the riders and also uh, what their annual usage of the time trial bike would be and, uh, and if they have any uh, known limitations or, uh, or current factors that I should take into account when putting them in the most optimal position. For this case we uh, used quite a special protocol. Normally in our bike fitting uh, protocol we start with a static measurement. Uh, we measure all the, the body dimensions of the rider and then uh, adjust the bike in a starting position based on that. Um, in this case we used the current uh, bike setup as a starting point. Um, so we measured their bike with, uh, with the XY tool. The XY tool is a very precise and accurate and quick way to determine where the saddle and the handlebars are uh, in relation to the bottom bracket. We measure X and Y coordinates. So we measure how many millimeters behind and above the bottom bracket the saddle and the handlebar is. So based on these four simple numbers, we can more or less set up or copy the, the entire bike position onto the position simulator to get uh, a quick um, and very accurate way of, uh, of copying a bike position from bike, one bike to the other or from one bike to the position simulator to do further testing. Um, we set up the position simulator uh, based on that position uh, and I, uh, I performed the first measurement with the motion analyzer to see which joint angles this starting position gave. We started the motion analyzer measurement with applying the eight sensors on strategic locations on the body. So there are three sensors on the foot, there's one on the knee uh, joint, one on the hip joint, one on the shoulder, one on the elbow and one on the wrist. And based on the location of these uh, eight sensors, the LED sensor of the motion analyzer determines uh, the joint angles and the distances from one sensor to the other. And based on this information, I can make adjustments to the bike to further optimize uh, the riding position. After we determined what the optimal position would be, from a bike fitting or ergonomics perspective. Uh, we also measured the pedaling style of the rider with the pedaling analyzer. So we watched uh, how the, um, uh, yeah, what kind of pedaling style the rider had in this time trial position. And I gave them some tips and advice on how they could improve their pedaling efficiency. After this, they started to, uh, to, to do their laps on the track uh, to measure power output at a given speed in order to, uh, to assess the aerodynamic track. Um, if needed, they came back to me afterwards if certain uh, adjustments to the bike were needed and uh, if they wanted to have another check on, uh, on what their position was, uh, then I, uh, I could also provide this check. I think for most riders there were small steps. I don't think I have changed any of their saddles or handlebars more than a few centimeters. Um, that's already quite a big change actually for a prof professional rider. Um, in most 
cases we could move the saddle up a little bit uh, because simply because this is there is a small difference between a road position and a time trial position uh, where you can put the saddle a bit higher in the time trial position than the road position. Uh, the second thing which I did in quite a lot of the riders was to move the handlebars up a little bit. Um, there has been a trend in the pro peloton to move handlebars down and away from the rider as much as possible. Um, this is not always aerodynamically the, the best position and it's certainly not from a bike fitting perspective the best, best idea because it leads to a very small hip angle and it compresses the, the, the blood flow and, uh, and uh, to, the, to the legs and it, uh, it makes the muscles work at a range which is not optimal. So we move the handlebar up in, uh, in quite a lot of the cases. Uh, in the end I think it will make most of the riders faster uh, and they will have a better bike position.